the cats are working hard on the mats here in Gambrels. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker with another edition of Athletes in Action at Arundel High School where, hey, let's do a reversal. Check in on the technical takedowns by the Wildcat Wrestling Team. Head coach Jim Rubush, assistant coach Sean Heyer, and also talking with and joining in with assistant coach Tom Owen. You gotta step in, you've gotta get an angle. The coaches have a hands-on style that benefits the Arundel wrestlers. I've been involved in wrestling since I was seven years old, so I'm uh, very passionate about the sport and love teaching it, teaching it to the kids. We have a strong base of coaches. We all work with our old coaches, our club coaches. Getting different perspectives from different styles of wrestling really helps us develop our own. And that's where we find success in the mat. Well, they all specialize in different things, so that, that way it keeps us all well balanced. Coaches and captains think their cats have a lot of purr. We got a, a lot of hardworking guys on the team. Most of the guys on our team are people that start wrestling when they're in high school. We're getting a lot better. We got some new kids this year that uh, are going to stick with it. And uh, we're going to try and get them to go to like extra tournaments over the summer and uh, extra camps with us to uh, just get better so we can have a better season next year. In the beginning of the year, we didn't think we would be where we are right now and doing as good as we are. But we worked hard in practice, and that's helped us out throughout the year. This year we're looking really good. We're looking for an individual county title throughout every weight class. So we're going to probably going to win the tournament as long as everybody makes weight and wrestles their best. Ready? A young team can be fun, but present some extra challenges. There are definitely good days and bad days. You know, there's ups and downs throughout the course of the season, but when these guys are into it um, and they're working hard, and they understand, you know, when they're understanding that uh, their hard work's going to result in, in good uh, uh, good results, um, you know, on the mat, uh, in the matches, then that's when those guys are working really hard. Maybe more than any other, wrestling is a sport where staying fit is at the forefront and having precise nutrition and hydration are keys to success. Nutrition is a very important part of wrestling because you want to be as lean as you possibly can be in wrestling, but also at the same time have as much strength as possible. So it's maximizing your strength um, and your leanness. And the key in that is, is good nutrition. During practice, we drink a lot of water, get a lot of water breaks. Well, we try and eat healthy, like maybe like six meals a day, keep our metabolism going. Pinning down good grades is as critical as scratching out a victory on the mat. I think student athletes tend to do a, a better job um, at academics because they're forced to manage their time um, even better than maybe somebody that isn't a, a student athlete. Uh, but it's something that we're, we work with these guys all the time to make sure that they're staying up with their grades. I've gotten into uh, the AVID program, which helps you learn how to study this year. And uh, my, some of my teachers are giving me tips on how to study better and uh, flashcards, what to go over, highlight, and how to pick out parts in texts or reading that will help you find the answer in questions. We've stepped up our grades. I don't think we had any ineligible kids this semester. Everybody's being responsible. Everybody's doing what they need to do. Everybody plays their part. You get the points we need in counties, and then we get kids in states. The Cats have great tradition, and their wild wrestling fans know it. Wrestling's obviously had a great history here at, at Arundel. I, I haven't been here that long, but uh, but it's got a great tradition, um, and I'm proud to, to be a part of it, a continuing part of the tradition. Um, you know, most of our supporters come from uh, from the from the parents of the current wrestlers, but we had a, a lot of alumni that come back and, and support the program. We normally get a lot of people to come out, family members, a lot of friends. Uh, so, yeah, we get a lot of support from the school. When we get like a pin going and we get some momentum behind us, it, we hear the crowd and it keeps us going. It really helps the adrenaline. The sport is great at the end of the match. Everybody's real involved, everybody's paying attention. The core that's there needs to be there, and they're a huge part of the team. It's like 12th man in football. To make the season a delight for the green and white? Number one, to teach kids wrestling. I want them from the beginning of the year to the end of the year to become better wrestlers. And I also want them to uh, enjoy wrestling. So if they come in and they maybe aren't sure that they like wrestling, um, I want them to really love it at the end of the year. If they come in and they love it, I want them to continue loving it. Making it to states this year and possibly making it to the finals. Uh, my coaches believe in, that, believe in me that I can make it to the finals this year, and I do too. 
as a team, we want to win counties, and I don't think that's unrealistic. I think we have a chance to do that, and then probably place top three in the region. Successful for me would be being with my brothers at States. Watching these kids improve is amazing. Working with them all year is amazing. I know all the kids that put in work over the summer are going to place in region, if not state. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, on the air, or, yeah, maybe even on the mats with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action.